What's going on guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube Superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers, you can't mess with me. It's just exciting for people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. I can do <laughs> I can do this. What's going on guys? I've been wanting a striping kit for my Bobcat stand on. So uh, I've been complaining about Bobcat not making one. And then one of the subscribers, Power by Pool, he said, hey man, I made one for my mower and it's really simple. I was already in the process actually of the, the day I got the message from him drawing out a plan on a napkin of how to make the, uh, what is it called? the the big league striper, the rollers. And all you really need for that is some boat trailer rollers and some metal brackets and something to make an axle out of. And uh, I had the Overton's catalog, which is a big uh, boat and ski place around here. And I had, I had already figured out what I needed to do that. And it's, when I say boat trailer rollers, but that was gonna be about 150 bucks. But I like the idea of that one because it came on and off, but I don't like the idea about it. it got it all behind the mower which might not be a big deal I don't know and this one I'm getting ready to make I bought a $25 mat and a couple bucks worth of screws so I can make a whole bunch of them for you know 30 bucks anyway all it is is some big heavy uh, horse stall mat from the tractor supply and I've already measured out and cut a piece and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really film while I'm putting it in or and making it and all because you know, I only got two hands. I give it a shot. Okay, here's the mat. It's some big, thick, heavy rubber mat. And it's heavy too, man. It's all I can do to carry this out of the tractor supply. But I cut me out a strip. I made mine five by 33. It's gonna fit between my tires. I'm gonna put it right on the back of my deck and have it hanging down about three or four inches. I'm gonna play with it and see, well, see how I can get a hole drill too but then I'm gonna sandwich it on there with this piece of uh, metal as so, as so. So there you go. But I wasn't sure how it worked, but I looked at uh, Power by Pool's YouTube site and uh, he's got some crazy stripes, man. He's put in uh, his uh, fescue lawn with his Ferris. So uh, check that out if you want to see the, the proof because it's raining today. I'm not gonna be able to get out and cut anything with it, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, man. So, like I said, it's raining. I can't do anything else. So I'm gonna sharpen some mower blades and uh, try to figure out how to attach this this gizmo. Stay tuned. Okay, I cut the piece of rubber out with just a, a razor blade, a razor knife, and what you do is just get a straight edge and cut your first line in it. Then you can kind of fold it over a little bit and keep just uh, gently cutting it out. It can cut really easy. I was uh, kind of uh, wondering how the hell I was gonna cut that big thick rubber. But I've measured off, if I can still see it, 33 inches on my little uh, metal piece here. I'm a real stickler for straight lines and cutting stuff even. Not really. So I just go cut it off with my grinding wheel. It'll be close enough. All right, I can't do both at the same time, so I'm going to cut you off. That didn't take but a second. All right. But I cut it off, and I rounded it up a little bit. I had enough to a little sharp corners on it would be rough on my rubber mat over time. So I really don't want it to be silver and it might rust and stuff. So I'm gonna hit it with a little uh, Crylon Pro for the pros. All right, well, you guys get the idea how spray paint works. So no need to show that. I'm gonna paint that. Well, if I was, uh more of a carpenter or whatever. I would have measured my holes good in the deck and drilled them all at the same place. But I got them all about an inch and a half from the bottom lip of the deck. And then I wanted this thing, the flap down here, to hang about two and a half inches down, which might be a little low because, you know, I cut varying heights of, of turf with this machine. So I don't know. But uh, what I did to mark my holes, was after I got 
the holes drilled in my deck, which by the way, truth in advertising, all that stuff, drilling holes in seven gauge steel with a crummy drill is a pain in the ass in a little tight spot. But what I did was I just uh, put some paint on the ends of this thing and stuck it through the holes when I got it lined up like I wanted it. And it left, I don't know if you can see them, left little dots on it. But I'm just gonna drill holes, some pretty big holes where the dots are. And then we're gonna mount this thing See what it looks like. Well, there it is. Just a little flap between the tires. Sharpen the blades and the Get this thing propped up on the paint can. I tried it out a little bit and on my Bermuda yard, I mean, you can't really strike Bermuda anyway, unless you got some kind of real mower or roller or something, but I can't get my deck low enough. So got to work on that. Um, Cause the thing I actually hold the deck up is so thick. So I don't know if you can see it. So there it is right there. And I think I either need to cut, I, at, I cut my fescue at transport height, and I'm I'm pretty sure it'd do a good job of striping it. But uh, with you know, I gotta use this mower for all different kinds of yards, and at this length it's not gonna work for me because I got it at three and a half inches right now, and it's sitting on the ground. I really want to be two and a half, and uh, it, it, the deck won't go all the way down. So I got you know, a whole buttload of rubber mats so I can really try again or I can just cut some off of this one if I mess it up, no big deal. I gotta go to a fescue yard tomorrow. I might leave it long and just wait and see how it does and then modify it after that just to see, just see it do something. Okay, I tested the uh, flap out at my house in the Bermuda grass yesterday when I, I got, it, got it put on. Didn't work too good. It's uh, too stiff. And I got it a little too low, so it uh, it kind of raked the yard, and it actually is stiff enough that it holds the deck up. So either got to shorten it up, or or maybe this just won't work for you know a mower that's going to go across several different turf types. But uh, I, I've I've seen proof that it works pretty good on uh, just a straight fescue yard. But today I'm here. I don't know if you see it. Gonna, there it is. <laughs> I got some fescue behind me. I'm gonna mow it and see what it strikes like. I'm curious to see how short I can get the flap and it still have a striping effect. I got a lot of rubber so I can experiment a lot, but uh, I had it pretty long. I, it's so tight in there, I don't even know if the thing shows up. But it's a little flap right there. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna mow this fescue with it. We'll see what it looks like. Fescue's pretty beat up too because it's been super hot, super dry. It rained a little bit yesterday. I'm not sure if it rained that much over here though. I'm not seeing that much evidence of it. But I'll mow this and uh, we'll look at the stripes and see what it looks like. And then I might cut an inch or so off the flap and we'll mow some more fescue, see if it still stripes it. Okay, the question of uh, Will it stripe fescue? I believe it will. It looks pretty good. Ah, uh, sun's in it. That's not bad at all. Let's look at a couple other spots. There's another spot. Man, if all you're gonna do is cut your own fescue yard with it, that's all the striper you need right there. That's pretty cool. That works all right. The uh, drawback is, like I said, uh, it, when I, have to lower the deck it holds the deck up so i can't uh, go across different turf types very well i might try to cut some of it off and see what it does um i might kind of i might come out it somewhere else on the mower too think about that let's look at another little spot we're gonna run might have to send up the ppc total turf drone to get a good look at this but uh 
There you go. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see some of that drone footage. Okay, here we are, high above the lawn in the PPC total turf drone. Man, look at those six stripes. And my homage to America I made on the uh, driveway there. Awesome aerial footage from the PPC total turf drone. Yeah, I know. It works pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to cut some off of it and see if I can see if it'll work for me on uh, on some short grass and steel stripe. So I guess I'm gonna wrap this up. But I'm gonna try to reach under it and slice some off. I've got a ton of rubber mat at home, so it's not like I can mess it up or anything. But uh, I, I believe if if uh, that's all the yard, you know, if you're gonna just mow your fescue yard with it and not have to change height of cut. That's all the striping kit you need. That's pretty cool. And uh, only, you know, a $25 mat and a couple screws and a piece of metal to sandwich in the back and a little bit of your time. The uh, holes I drilled in the deck didn't go into the uh, actual cutting area of the deck. They're, they're in like a, a area behind the, the cutting chamber. So that's not going to affect anything. And uh, so, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything to try it. And uh, I, th I think you'll like it. It works pretty good and cheap i like cheap but uh anyway man that's the power by pool striping flap i appreciate you guys watching hit that like button subscribe and uh, give me any comments thanks again